my name is Carson Thompson. Uh, I'm on the chemical engineering faculty, and my degrees are in chemical engineering, but my research has always been in petroleum, oil and gas, so I'm currently chair of the petroleum engineering department. My research is related to flow and porous media, and so on the chemical engineering side, that involves membranes, packed beds, certain types of composite materials, but then most of my research is in oil and gas industry, and so that relates to the formations that are down under the earth, the porous formations, sandstones and limestones where the oil and gas is trapped. And so what we do is we try to relate the pore scale physical processes. So that means what's going on down at the microscopic level where the oil and gas are traveling through the rock. And then we relate that to what's happening at the macroscopic level where we actually get millions of barrels of oil out of the ground. And then we also do some modeling. We do some computational modeling to try to be able to predict uh, and design what's happening down under the subsurface. The two main sources that oil companies are looking for right now is either deep water, so they're drilling in places like the Gulf of Mexico, or you still have oil that's easy to get to in the sense it flows out of the formation easily, but it's difficult to get to in that it's out in, in very deep water. And then the other thing that's in the news a lot, of course, is the fracking technology that's in what we call the unconventionals. And that's really changing things because that's oil and gas that people thought we couldn't get to just 10 years ago. And now they've proved in the field that they can get to it. So now it's our job in the lab to try to really understand what's going on and put some science behind it. PERT Lab is, is one of the really unique facilities for the Petroleum Engineering Department. It's an acronym, PERT is P-E-R-T-T, -T, so it's the Petroleum Engineering Research and Technology Transfer Laboratory, and it's right out next to Alex Box Stadium, our baseball stadium, if you're familiar with that is. And it's, uh, like I said, it's the only facility like this in North America. So it was originally a well that was designed as an exploratory well, and it ended up being dry, so they never produced from it. But it ended up being cased. There were some more oil wells drilled and ultimately donated to LSU. So what we do there now is we can do a lot of testing and training for the industry. They can bring tools on site. We can run compressed gas down into those wells and, and test down hole valves or, or other types of situations. The really unique thing from the student's perspective is they take what's called their junior level well control laboratory there. or goes by the name the blowout lab. So in most other schools, uh, students are running simulations to try to understand about the well control and blowouts. And at LSU, they actually get to experience about the closest thing you could to a live blowout, but in a safe situation where they're running, you know, hands-on running the chokes and trying to understand what you do to control a well, well situation or a blowout situation.